Hello, I'm Graham Robson, Tamas Technical Manager. I'm sure we've all seen bales where the net has burst open. Sometimes immediately the bale is ejected, other times a little while afterwards. And I'm sure you've asked yourself why this is happening. It's quite simple really. The problem is, it's all going on behind you. Let's take a look. Inside the baler are the rollers. These rollers are spinning in this direction to turn the bale in this direction. As soon as we need the bale to be ejected, it needs to go this way. However, the rollers continue to spin trying to force the bale forwards and here you get a conflict. It creates friction on the bale, creating the damage on the net. Let me show you. Look at the rollers on the bottom of the baler. They're spinning, trying to turn the bale forwards, but the bale needs to come out of the back of the baler. This is where the conflict is. Watch again, slowly. This problem is usually worse at the start of the season, where the bale is not turning so easily in the chamber because the side walls are rusty from the baler being parked in the shed all winter. Or perhaps it's a brand new baler and the inside walls are still painted, so the baler is not turning so easily either. The situation will improve as the baler side walls become more shiny, usually after 100 bales have been made. It can also be that the chamber rollers are blocked up with wet crop. This increases the friction against the bale when trying to exit the chamber and possibly damages the net in the same way. The solutions Clean the rollers in the bale chamber, of course. But more importantly, try to remember to disengage the PTO when you're ejecting the bale. Only until the bale chamber walls have shined up. Mm -hmm.